How's it going lads? Welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video I've got a really exciting video talking about the upcoming foot birthday promo in just a few weeks. If you are new to FIFA and you don't know what foot birthday is, it's where EA celebrate their birthday from roughly early March to mid-March to roughly mid-March to end March. It's roughly around there. Uh, I don't think there is a set date for the birthday promo because I think last year was a bit late. Uh, but we will see it very soon in the next two to three weeks, I think, and I'm very excited because it's one of my favorite promos of the entire year, and I'm going to tell you why in this video. But before we do that, I thought I'd quickly show you some packs I opened earlier because for some reason people complain when I only show you FIFA 18 stuff in these videos. I am not from the future. I cannot possibly show you what the foot birthday promo is going to look like as it's not out yet, which is why I show you last year's foot birthday promo so you can get an idea of what we're going to get as opposed to what we've already got, because I don't know what we've already got, because I don't work at EA and I can't look into the future. So, here is some FIFA 19 packs, and then I'm going to show you guys what we got last year for foot birthday, and talk you through what we're going to get. I thought we'd start this video with opening some packs. We have Rare Election Players packs. I'm a big fan, big advocate of these packs. I really do like them. Uh, so, we'll see if we can get anything good from any of these Rare Election Players packs. Now, it's a sad shame that, unfortunately, Headline is no longer in packs, but... We do have the new Man of the Matches out. Now, if you don't know who the new Man of the Matches are out, uh, we have got ourselves a Man of the Match Malcolm, Man of the Match Doherty, Man of the Match Smith. Um, who else have we got? I can't even find them on Footbin because there's so many transfers and stuff being added into the game. Let me quickly have a look on EA Sports Twitter and find out who the new Man of the Matches are whilst we skip this pack. So, we've got Malcolm Gamero, Gabriel Murray, Doherty Smith, and Walmot. So... Nothing too amazing. I think the best one there is probably Malcolm or Gamero. So, um, but a Doherty would be nice as well. He's actually a pretty solid looking card from Wolves, uh, right wing back from Ireland. So you never know if we do get a man in the match and it is Doherty, that'd be pretty nice. But with this kind of pack look, we're probably not going to get anything good. Uh, it just never is anything good for me, is it? It's, ne it's never good. It's never good. My pack look is absolutely woeful. Um... It always seems to be, and then I like, then like for like two days straight, I've got insane packs, like, and everyone thinks I'm on the red list, and it's like, no, these are what most of my packs look like. They, most of my packs look awful, but it's just for some reason on the odd occasion when I'm recording, I get something good, and then everyone thinks I'm on the red list. When actually, in fact, no, I open a lot of packs, and uh, and usually this is what my packs look like. They don't all look amazing. They don't all have mana matches in. They don't all have walkouts and etc. Usually they look like this. They look like non-board. They look like skip packs. They look like absolutely awful packs. So for everyone thinking I'm on the red list, you couldn't be more wrong. You could not be more wrong. I'm out here getting series in all my packs, honestly. Like most of my packs are absolutely awful. So you know, hopefully this clears it up a little bit for the people that think that I have amazing pack look because I really don't. I wish I did. We've finally got a board out of like six. Uh, French, left mid, not Martial with Ribery at least. A, A5 Ribery's not bad to be fair. Better than Martial, better than Coman, better than Lamar. Best French left mid you can get on the game, I think. Uh, don't quote me on that. They might be like an inform, that's better. I don't know. Uh, but we've got two more of these packs left. You never know. We could get something good, potentially. It's not going to be a walkout though. Be a board. Nope. Dude, I'm on the red list. You guys can tell. I'm on the red list, all right? There, I've admitted it. I am on the red list. Yikes. We wanted your counterpart. We wanted the Brazilian version of you, Dembele. Oh, hello? There we go. I don't know why that didn't work for a second. All right, last one. Come on, yeah. Give us something good, please. Give us something decent. <sighs> no walkout. No board. Red list. Red list confirmed. First of all, let's talk about the team that we actually got last year. We got a team of position changes last year. As you see, we've got a right wing Ronaldo, a left back Gareth Bale. We've got a right wing Hazard CDM Javi Martinez, who was a centre back last year, if you don't remember. Uh, we have got a centre mid Zogo, who was a right mid last year. We've got a Cam Di Maria, a right back Azpilicueta, a Cam Honda, who was a right mid last year, uh, a CB Cuyate, a centre mid Asamoah, who was a left back last year, uh, a centre forward Royce, who was a left mid last year. Uh, then we've got a left mid Balassi, who was a right mid last year, a left wing Jordi Alba who was a left back last year, striker Schalke who was a left mid last year and a centre mid Alaba that was a left mid, uh, left back last year, uh, CB Danilo Pereira who was a CDM last year a Cam Felipe Anderson who was a I believe right wing or left wing, uh, left wing last year, uh, a Cam Draxler who if I'm not mistaken was a left mid last year or a left wing last year, um, a centre mid Florenzi who was a right back last year, a centre forward Mahrez who was a right wing last year, a centre back Kalasnach who was a left back last year, a centre forward Mane who was a left wing last year and a right back Danilo uh, sorry Bruno Perez 
even, not even Danilo Perez, Bruno Perez, who was a right mid last year. So as you guys can see, we got a bunch of position changes last year. Show you guys in a bit better quality so you guys can see the cards a little bit better. As you see, we've got the Ronaldo Hazard Bale, we've got the Alaba, Azpilicueta, Javi Martinez. Uh, we've got the Royce, Jordi Alba, and Di Maria. And we've got the Mane, Jackson, Mares, who was, uh, sorry, a right wing last year to a camp. Uh, Mane, left wing to centre forward. He was a left wing in FIFA 16. Um, so they went off like previous years and, and looked at where their cards were. As example, uh, FIFA 14, uh, and then put him back to where he was, for example. Um, so they just made a load of position changes, essentially. To, 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 to sum it up, they, they did a bunch of position changes, which is really cool, actually. I really like the look of the cards as well, and I'm excited for what they're going to do this year, too. But as you see, last year was ninth year. It was est uh, established, estimated, established in 2009, uh, f uh, FIFA Ultimate Team was. So this year is its 10th year, which, in my opinion, makes it way more important. I think the promo is going to be way bigger now that it's its 10th year as opposed to 9th year. I think yeah, you're going to throw out all the stops for this promo. So I did a little bit of digging and I found a match to game a stream and you can't even see it because it's uh, it's not even on the right side. March 16th, my, 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 I can't even speak, March 16th, 2018 was when we got the foot birthday promo last year. It's around mid-March. Now I think that's actually a little bit off onto the actual birthday. I've done some research and all I've managed to find so far is that it's either March 5th March 9th, March 14th, or March 19th. They are the four different dates I've found from several different websites that I've looked at to find out the actual initial launch of FIFA Ultimate Team. So I think we're going to expect it around early to mid-March, which as you see, currently it's about February 10th, I believe today, or yeah, February 10th today. So uh, it's only about two and a bit weeks. There's only 28 days in February. So it's about three weeks maybe that we're expecting foot birthday, which isn't long at all. So what I did was I dug out a video from NEP to see what we got. So last year we actually got uh, promo packs as expected from EA. We always get promo packs, but we got some very interesting SBCs as well last year. Uh, so as you see right now, I think it was showing it on Matt's screen as well. We got a Robin Van Persie, Wayne Rooney and Yaya Torre SBCs. Uh, from certain FIFAs. So this was a foot 12 Rooney. Uh, I don't know what FIFA it was for Yaya Torre or Robin Van Persie, but there were some really, really incredible cards um, and they weren't that expensive either. I think that we required, um, I think it was either, it wasn't objectives because they weren't in the game last year. I think we had to play and do some kind of SBC or, or, or do some kind of uh, challenge to get a token. Uh, we had to submit a certain amount of tokens to get the uh, SBCs, uh, which I think we'll be able to see from next video. Uh, but we got a Schweinsteiger as well, uh, as well as the other players. So um, it was pretty decent. We also got Team of the Week upgrades and tradable Team of the Week upgrades, which... EA like to bring out every now and then for different promos, and I'm excited. Hopefully, they do bring them out again this year because that'll be absolutely dope. Objectives were in the game last year. I, I thought it was this year objectives came into the game. Anyway, um, as you see here, the tokens were St. Patrick's Day cards. So you had to exchange four St. Patrick's Day cards and an 83 rated team to get the 86 Yayatori, I want to say it was. Uh, if we pause it right, we'll be able to see what rating is um, there. 86 Yayatori, 76 pace, 80 dribbling, 80 defending, 90 physical, 84 passing, 85 shooting. Uh, so you had to submit four. Four St. Patrick's Day items that were, were earned for completely free and they weren't difficult objectives either uh, and an 83 rated squad which I think is pretty decent. Um, I thought that uh, they did a really good job last year of the SBCs. They were pretty dope. So as you see, uh, I didn't realise that last year objectives were in the game but we got a Dave Myler there. Um, the boys in green. That was for um, you had to win nine or more online season matches this week to earn a St. Patrick's Day uh, David Myler. So you only had to win nine online season matches. Uh, the one before that, you had to score 10 goals using Irish players in online single matches. That was pretty easy. All you had to do was go into a game and put like boys in green or objectives. I actually remember doing this myself and people would let you score 10 if you let them score 10. Um, and it had to, it could be done through literally one game. So EA are a little bit more stingy this year with the objectives, so they might make it a bit harder. Then we had the, uh, let me go back to the Leprechauns one real quick. Um, so I can see if Nep, if you want to go onto the Leprechauns, uh, there we go. Okay, so um, we had scored 10 downwards headers. Now, I actually remember this because no one knew what the downward header was last year. And then everyone found out what it was for this. Basically, you hold LB and RB when you do a header. It's still in this game today. Um, but you have to power up the header first, then hold LB and RB. And it does a downward header. They're so OP this year. Little tip for you. But um, you have to score 10 or more downward headers this week to earn Harry Arter. And then we had the, um, I think it's Daryl Horgan, I think his name is, uh, which was played 20 games over any game mode in foot to earn Daryl Horgan. 
Um, yeah, it is Daryl Hogan. Uh, and then I think there was a couple more. So we had Seamus Coleman, which was score a goal off the woodwork. That was so difficult, but a lot of people were trying it in online single matches. I remember this one glitching out as well. A lot of people didn't even have this objective and then got the uh, got the Coleman for free. Didn't even have to do the objective, so I actually remember that. Um, I think there was one more because it was six. You had the option of doing like Robin Van Persie and Schwein... Oh, sorry, there was five. You had the option of doing Robin Van Persie and Schweinsteiger or doing um, Yaya Torre or Rooney. You could do either the two. You could either do the RVP and Schweinsteiger, or you could only do Yaya Torre, or you could only do Rooney. I think I remember doing Rooney or Yaya Torre. I can't remember. I did one of those, uh, but that was pretty cool. So um, that's what they brought out in terms of foot, uh, foot birthday, in terms of like the, uh, the cool SBCs that they brought out, the player SBCs. Now, in FIFA 17, they brought out uh, daily SBCs during foot birthday, where you had to uh, complete all, I think, seven daily SBCs, and you got a free ultimate pack containing at least one foot birthday player, or sorry, containing a chance to get a foot birthday player. Um, this, I've got uh, content from one of my videos actually from last year, uh, showing you guys basically the uh, the uh, pack that you got. You got an ultimate pack um, with a chance of getting a foot birthday player. So basically what they did was this was after the, um, this was after foot birthday was uh, finished uh, and all the foot birthday players were out of packs. They put them all back into packs for this one uh, ultimate pack and let you get an opportunity of getting one. I, I remember the pause from FIFA from FIFA 17. That was actually pretty crazy. And this is a pack of somebody getting, I think, Samuel Eto'o, I want to say, uh, which was really cool. It was a free ultimate pack for just completing five or ten or seven I forget. I think it was seven daily objectives um, or daily SBC, sorry, which I think was pretty cool. Uh, but I showed a few on screen there of, uh, of what people have got and stuff like that. People got like two in one pack. Uh, they were really easy to pack. I remember packing two in one pack as well. They were actually incredible, um, incredible uh, packs as well because Team of the Season was out at the same time. This was a year I think it was... Um, I think that we got Team of the Season really early this year, like the the first one, or this was delayed late. I can't actually remember 100%. But what we also got last year, about March 21st, which was during the foot promo SBC, which I thought was really cool. Uh, but what we got during March, uh, uh, March 21st was the baby icon or the base icon player SBC. So here, I completed one. Look how, look how I was so scared actually opening this. I really was so scared. Um... But here we have the base icon upgrade. I don't know if they'll bring it in this year or not, but it was around March 21st when they actually released it, which I thought was really cool. Um, so I did like, I opened a bunch of them. I don't know if it was exactly March 21st, but this was roughly around the time. It was actually March 15th we got it. Uh, this is Curbs' video here. He did a bunch of them for a video, um, but they were a lot of fun to do. They weren't that expensive. I don't think they were, they were necessarily cheap, but they weren't, you know, overly expensive to do, which were pretty cool. Um, I don't know who Kerb actually got. He would have got Larson probably or something. I think that's Larson. Yeah, Seb Larson. Uh, not Seb Larson. I should know his first name. Henrik Larson. There we go. Um, but as you see, we got like the base icon upgrade, which was really cool. That came out March 15th alongside the foot birthday promo. Uh, and I think we can expect it this year as well because they went down an absolute treat. So all in all, to sort of summarize it, we got... Player SBCs that were really cheap, that required um, objectives to help complete. We got a base icon upgrade, which is really cool. It wasn't that expensive at all. It was actually pretty decent to complete. I think in total, what did you need? You needed an 85, an 84, and an 83 rated squad. I think in FIFA 19, if you were to submit an 85, 84, and 83 rated squad, that'll cost you about 160k for a base icon's not bad. Um, we also got the uh, the promo packs, we got the um, weekly objectives to complete, and uh, I don't know how I've just duplicated that tab, but that's pretty crazy. And uh, as you see here in foot 17, we got a free ultimate pack that contained foot birthday players, and of course we get the beer, the foot birthday squad with the position change items in, hopefully do the exact same this year with position change cards, because that'd be absolutely incredible, I'd really like that. Um, but that was basically it for foot birthday. Let me know down below if you're excited because I'm very excited. Thank you all for watching this video and I'll see you later.